boy Sky, broadcasting live, doing a video here with Inky the cat. We bring her up for y'all. Anyways, I'm chilling here with Inky. You know, been taking care of Inky for a little while. Here with Rover, Rover.com, partnering with them. When I had this amazing opportunity to be able to come and care for Inky a few times. This is what the cat's name is, Inky. So, you know, I love this opportunity because I'm able to be with the cat, you know, like, initially I have the most experience with dogs and it's interesting to be with cats because they have a different persona. You know, it's, even though there are, I don't know. Well, oh yeah, okay, so there's male and female cats, but I feel and I sense out more of a feminine nature with cats. They are called felines and dogs are canines. So, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I notice more of a feminine, you know, passive, more calm, smoother kind of connection and vibes from cats. And yeah, I'm no big, perfect expert over all this stuff. I'm just saying from my experiences, because some people, our experiences, but I'm saying sometimes, you know, it's cool to be around other animals. And sometimes we really don't have the cats that often, I guess, because I guess they're so chill. Well, really all the animals are pretty, you know, at their natural state, you know, in the present moment, because <laughs> we're from nature. So it's interesting. I like the zoo, it's been a while. I've been to the zoo. I do desire to go to the safari and whatnot. But yeah, you know, Sometimes we don't really get to notice all of the animals because many of us are caught up in school, caught up working, you know, look, they're on the ground just <laughs> playing around. Inky, 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 inky. Yeah, but anyways, so yeah. Yeah, I guess going vegan really helps us to realize this too, you know, like, our connection with animals, nature, all of that. And it gets us to remember how many animals there are, what it's like to be in the presence of animals, you know, and have a more like compassion amongst them, to be honest, like to see that they, the animals have souls, you know? So that is what it is, you know, the animals have souls. And that's the reason why, obviously, I stopped consuming animals. And it just makes sense. Like, once you stop consuming it, then, you know, it's like there's no going back, to be honest. Because, like, you have to put yourself in an animal's fur, shoes, whatever you want to call it. And no, I'm not perfect with all, I'm still transitioning two years into this. This is, I'm saying, like, you know... To put yourself in any life form shoes, you know what I mean? And it's like, would you just want to be slaughtered out of nowhere? Like kidnapped and slaughtered out of nowhere, you know, and eaten? No, you wouldn't. Nobody would. So that's the point I'm making about that. You know, like, you really know it's compassion. I mean, I'm not trying to tell people to do this or that. I'm just speaking the truth, honestly, because it's like once I went vegan, it's like it's no going back. And even that whole vegan road can be a bit challenging as well because there's so much resistance from the rest of the planet who's not <laughs> vegan, you know what I mean? But then you start to see what's up. You start to really fly away and see that, you know, we become lighter and we're like the butterfly flying away from the masses. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been noticing along my voyage, along our, that's what we have been noticing along our voyage. But yeah, 
my life. Nothing is the same. Like Drake, shout out to Drake. Nothing was the same. For real. For me in the soul. No, stop, Minky. Stop. For me, it's like nothing was the same. Is the same. Like when you go vegan, plant based, because you really see life in a new way. You know, in a more organic, calm, still way that requires a lot of patience and spiritual work. You know what I mean? For real. I was, I'm able to sense that out, to be honest, because there's been many times where, like, you know, I might have, you know, just healing, you know what I'm saying? Healing, healing in general, and, like, it's helping me to become a better person, interacting with other life forms, especially animals, first and foremost, because, like, you know, like, I have a client, she's actually our neighbor, and I check in on the dog and the cat, and the dog's actually deaf, you know, it doesn't hear, its ears are gone, like, well, it has ears, but it doesn't hear, you know what I'm saying, and I remember she wrote a little note about that for me to be able to, you know, gently locate the dog so we can go walk, you know, so it's not like I'm startling or scaring the dog, because how are they gonna know I'm coming, you know, until they feel me touch them or, you know, feel a strong, strong vibration or something like that. So it really helped me paint a new perspective because maybe if I was handling, you know, my own stuff, my own problems, my own, you know, emotions and stuff, drama, whatever, not even drama, just my own mishaps and stuff that I'm going through in life or maybe I'm not all the way super positive and, you know, pure bliss and happiness at that moment. But then, you know, when I go into this new environment to go take care of the dog, you know, instantly just, you know what I'm saying? Not a mask, but just like, you know, my senses like, oh, wow. Okay. I'm in a new, I'm in a new environment and I have life forms in here, you know, like don't bring your baggage or that bad heavy energy towards the dog obviously you know what i mean and like it really just paints a new picture you know what i'm saying to get us out of that you know staying stuck on heavy energy you know and thoughts like that to where it's like you know presence to where it's like you know look what's in front of you you know and let's adjust to the situation the scenario and i guess that's what animals help out and also when i'm boarding as I'm boarding animals, dogs, you know, like, it's cool because sometimes I'll be alone. Well, a lot of times I'll be alone. Recently, you know, I, mean, I still hang with my friends. I just came out with my friends last night, you know, just chilling, though, meditating. And then, like, you know, sometimes when we're at home alone, though, and we have, like, a few dogs, you know, it helps out because it's like, sometimes we may be just overthinking so much, lonely, you know, confused, sad, whatever. And like, it's cool because the animals, they don't care, you know what I'm saying? They're just there to like support us, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll be super happy throughout a lot. You know what I'm saying? I've seen dogs like show a small amount of aggression and a, a few seconds of attempting to begin fighting with each other, you know, jumping on each other, but obviously I was there to be able to prevent that and create the space amongst them to create the peace so it doesn't escalate any further, you know. But like, I noticed that, you know, when it's calm, it's cool, obviously. But I was saying with the whole fight thing, you know, when I saw that happen, when it happened, and it's happened a few times because different dogs and different animals and different people all have different backgrounds, different upbringings, different childhood experiences, traumas, you know, food consumption, all types of factors, you know, that can be weighing heavy on the life form, you know what I'm saying? On their physicality, their emotions, their spirituality, all that stuff, and can be hurting them and have a whole bunch of pain and hurt and disease and sickness within them. You know, I'm still overcoming all this. 
But I'm saying like that in general for all life, you know, we got to be able to see each other at eye level. You know what I'm saying? Like to see people where they are, you know, not to be so hard on them or whoever, whatever it is, animal, whatever, obviously. Be understanding and just, you know, still keep the peace though. And that's something I'm learning and realizing. And I notice especially with dogs too, because after they fought, like, not they didn't fight, okay? I don't do no fight, but like one of them started growling, you know what I'm saying? You know, just out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a new dog, new experience, you know, he had a aggression pent up and then out of nowhere, out of my control, boom, he started to try to bite the other dog's ear, you know what I'm saying? And immediately I put a stop to that. And another one did the same thing, but on their back and boom, I'm there to stop it instantly <laughs> to prevent it from escalating at all. You know what I mean? And it's funny because minutes, seconds, hours after that, and literally right after it, these dogs are great. You know what I'm saying? Like they laughing, smiling, panting, you know what I'm saying? Wanting water, you know, chewing on a bone, going ready to go fetch a ball, like whatever, like all types of stuff like that. And it's just dope because they're so in the presence, you know, and like they're not thinking about paying bills or thinking about how to use an iPad or thinking about a gate code or thinking about, you know, Or thinking about Facebook messages or thinking about, you know, all this stuff. They just in the moment, you know what I'm saying? In nature. And I guess that's cool. Them as a species. And I've just been able to notice that because it's been helping me to lighten up. You know what I'm saying? To ease up, not to be so pent up, you know, inside with, you know, bad energy or heavy energy or worrisome thoughts, troubles, you know, but really just to be cool, you know what I'm saying, to be cool and just to to breathe, of course, and, you know, just to move forward with that, so that's what animals help me do is because, you know, obviously if there's chaos going on, it's going to be chaos going on amongst the animals and any other life form, you know, but like if, you know, I don't know how your thoughts or minds or whatever are, but you know, maybe I will say that, you know, obviously if you <coughs> are crossing the line and your emotional barrier or whatever you want to call it, you know, your level, you know, notches and you're going a little bit out of control, out of, and I'm talking about in an unhealthy way, out of foolishness, you know, out of harm, out of, you know, evil anything will check us, you know what I'm saying? Any animal, any person, any, you know, thing, nature, God, you know? So that's true, that's common sense as well. That's probably why all these, well, I don't even watch the news for long, many years, but that's probably why all those people talk about dogs biting this or that or animals doing this or that to humans. Honestly, I guarantee you it's because the human or whoever initiated it, you know, or whatever happened. I'm not going to get, that's another story. I'm not going to get into it, but something had to happen. And I'm, I'm going to be real and say the same thing with the police stuff too. All the people want to talk about all these people losing their life, police brutality, brutality against, you know, all types of people, blacks, whites, Mexicans, you know, all that. To be honest, it's all hype. And I am going to go ahead and say it on camera too, because I don't see any of it happening to us. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. Like there usually is something that leads up to all this stuff. That's how I'm saying. I do not know everything. I'm just saying from my own book of my own life, our life, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? It's cause and effect. It's cause and effect. I've noticed it with my own relationships, doing petty stuff like, you know, Throwing out someone's food, <laughs> throwing out some cheap food of the person, and then they throw out your food. Okay, boom. Pure reciprocity right there. And like that's happens in life in different ways. I'm not gonna say I know it all or anything, but that's the best way I can say it because I've seen it with my own eyes. 
with the most organic, closest, intimate, romantic encounter in life, you know? So that also can translate in just a non-romantic, intimate way, just with strangers, you know, with the world, the people that we don't know and whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Of course, that's, that's gonna happen. This cause and effect happens all throughout everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I've noticed. You know, like if you show you're gonna give up, you don't care, you wanna be lazy, this and that, then boom, the universe will give you that. You know what I'm saying? They'll kick you out and <laughs> you gotta pick yourself up because this not stopping for nobody. You know what I mean? It's gonna keep going. Cause that's what the orbit of the earth does. It orbits, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't just stop, okay? So that's what I notice. I'm noticing. But yeah, you know, I like animals. I know I'm going around. I, I speak about a lot of different things, vast topics. I'm getting better at this. I'm looking to improve, you know, my s story speaking, my story sharing, my wisdom, insights, all of that, you know, because sometimes, you know, there may be a little too many thoughts in our heads. So that's the point is to dial the thoughts down, you know, to more simplicity so that we can, you know, really have organization in our life, you know, with how it is now. Not resisting it, just flowing through the stream of life. Sometimes it's gonna rain and this current is gonna be a little bit stronger. Sometimes it's a sunny day and it'll be hot and we may need some, we may need to quench our thirst. You know, there's all types, sometimes it's super cold and the stream, you know, freezes with ice and snow and glaciers, you know, an avalanche may happen. Sometimes there's mudslides, you know, volcano eruption, all types of stuff. I break it down to nature all the time because that's us. We are nature, you know, but yeah, I love being with animals, to be honest, and life in general, because we learn so much. And that's what I'm saying, because I learned when my, I've learned when I've been making some real unwise choices, foolish choices, immature choices that are a disservice to us. You know, I learned some difficult, tough lessons. And also I learned that maybe when I'm just doing the best I can, that maybe I'm still a little sad or down or, you know, a little foggy in my head or whatever, doubtful. You know, I know it's the animals still are there. You know what I'm saying? They'll still literally have so much excitement and happiness and just love to give, you know, because they have nothing, to, we have nothing to lose, you know, because they'll, they'll just come up, you know, and just, you know, breathe, panting, breathing, you know what I'm saying? Licking my hand, you know what I'm saying? Giving me kisses on my face, you know, wanting a big hug. I'll give them a big hug, you know, play around with them, pick them up in the air around like an airplane or something, you know, ah, don't bite me, um, you know, play fetch, whatever. But I like them because even when I've had some hard, dark nights, you know, dark nights where I was just alone and sad, confused, depressed, heartbroken, whatever you want to call it, you know, they've been there to <laughs> remind me to lift myself up, to be honest. They remind us to lift ourselves up. And then when I'm super happy, you know, <laughs> that's a whole nother level with them too. Cause then they're super energetic, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, we learn so much amongst in life to be real with y'all. So I'm grateful for the learning process. And I am grateful just to be alive, to be honest, because there are so many words to be said. There's so many thoughts, ideas, people, places, planets, stars, you know, like life is very dynamic and large in itself. And just to be able to simplify things to where I'm really zoning in um, to boost 
my overall health so I can be able to function and not be so distracted and, you know, all over the place, spazzing my energy out everywhere, you know, it helps to really just zone in to us so we can proceed throughout life gradually, you know, as a student and able to learn, you know, and experience it without being overwhelmed, you know, and turning in ourselves and having a short life, you know, so anyways, a deep message from a deep guy. Thank you for watching, you know, a message from Inky, Inky and I, who knows, we may be back, you never know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Have an amazing day. You know. Let's collaborate. Let's see what's all going on. Honestly. You know what I mean? There's a lot of possibilities out there. All I'm saying is, is just let's continue to focus in. Closer and closer and closer to our purpose. Our mission. And everything. So that we can really ride the wave. Stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting, but we're just flowing and flowing and flowing. So, anyways, it's your boy Sky broadcasting live with the homie Inky.